you know, if you don't try to excel at whatever you do, you'll never really enjoy it as much as you could. Making a splash in education circles, software company Texthelp are assisting people with literacy difficulties dive into the information age. Martin Mackay is also fishing in the US market with the company's latest product, an electronic book that can help bridge the education gap and teach children to read. Particularly I like fly fishing because it's one of those things you can, you know, I'll still be learning about it in 30 years. It's a good hobby to grow old with. It does allow me to completely forget about work for a while. It's one of those things where uh, you kind of fool yourself into thinking you're a hunter-gatherer, you know, it's that, uh, and you've got to try to tie a fly that, from a piece of feather that looks like a real fly, that looks real enough to fill a trout. Oh, there's one. It's really hard to go back to the office. At once I'm in here for 10 minutes, I could stay here for the rest of the day. Techstep really have three business units. The first is a traditional software product for people with reading difficulties, like dyslexia or English language learners. And the second business unit is called Browse Aloud, and it speech enables websites, it reads websites aloud for people who are struggling readers. And our third business unit is um, an electronic publishing business unit. We make talking textbooks. Instead, they go through changes. If you read a paper book visually, your eyes take in the information, your visual cortex processes it, and your brain stores it in that way. If someone reads a book aloud to you, your audio cortex processes the information and your brain stores the memory in that way. Our books show you the book on screen and read it simultaneously, so your brain learns it in both ways, and you form a stronger memory of the book and you have better recall, and it also teaches you how to read. So they're just better books. Competition drives innovation, and innovation makes success. Usually... You know, software companies don't last for 20 years. They last for 10 years, 15 years. So what we're trying to do is uh, start new business units so that as one business peaks and, uh, and tails off, the second one will peak after it. And hopefully these peaks are getting bigger and bigger and the employment increases and so on. I'm really passionate about building uh, an enterprise here that will bring money here, that will create sustainable employment here. And if I get rich in the, in the process, so be it but we, we really want to do a good thing and build a good enterprise.